Billy, my final question for you is in terms of having a positive mindset or a growth mindset, especially nowadays with COVID almost a year now, everyone is stressful. Everyone's trying to find a job. We know that finding a job is a full-time job, but also you should not be stressed out. You should take care of your mental health and other stuff. So what are your tips in terms of helping people having that growth mindset or the positive mindset during their job search? Oh, what a great question. Okay, so the first thing I would say is remember this. You control what you control. You don't control what you don't control. And so most people get fixated and attached to the things they don't control. Yes. So you don't control whether a recruiter calls you back. You don't control whether somebody emails you back. You don't control the job market. You don't control the economy, you don't control any number of things. But what you do control is how you respond. You do control how you interact with the recruiter. You do respond with how you interact in the job market. And so remember all the things that you control. I think a lot of people fall into this <laughs> trap of being the victim, of having this victim mentality or the world's out to get them. Yeah. And I think that's a slippery slope. So remember that thoughts are things. And when you think negatively and when you obsess over the past and you obsess over the things you don't control it limits your mind to focus on the things that you do control and to focus on the present and to focus yeah. on the now what could you be doing right now and yeah. when you start feeding negative thoughts into your brain it's like planting a seed for a weed and then a weed grows and yeah. so you got to keep pulling those weeds and your mind is this fertile garden and this is directly from napoleon hill and think and grow rich. And so what you should be doing is planting seeds of positivity, planting seeds of how you have the ability to do anything that you want to do, have unlimited thinking. You could have, you could be in any career you want, any job you want, any profession you want, but you have to believe that you can't. And, and I think a lot of times we place these boundaries on what has been or what confines us into a specific spot or space because of our experience. And I think that's a really limiting belief that we do to protect ourselves. Most human beings are risk adverse. We are afraid of doing things that put us into the unknown, that put us into the uncomfortable, that put us in places where we are stretched. And I, I'm a believer that when we're stretched, when we're uncomfortable, that's when we're growing. That's when we start to really get to believe and see firsthand that we can do things that maybe we didn't even believe or know we could do. And so the best way for us to thrive and to do the things that I'm describing is to eliminate the limited thinking, yeah. to eliminate the negative self-talk and the inner doubt, to forget about the negative past and to forget about all the things that are out of our control and focus on the things that we do control that are within our reach and think as much as we can about why and how we could do those things yeah. instead of how and why we can't do those things.
Thank you.